Hello my friends, AshtonyX here and today we're going to review the iOS 11.2 in the iPhone 5S. AshtonyX, games, tutorials, unboxings, reviews, I'm happy to help you. And remember to subscribe for more. So as always, we're going to see which version we have right here and as you can see right here we got the iOS 11.2 that has been released last week by Apple and this is the beta one. Expect us to have the next beta in a few couple of days or maybe we're gonna have the final release but this depends of Apple. So as you can see I've removed every animation of the device because it's kind of slow so it's gonna be without any animation. So what we're gonna do right now is to launch the control center. So we're gonna start to launch the control center so to see how is the performance. So let's go. As you can see here, right here, we got all the toggles of the classic logo and we got the, all the radios. We got airplane mode, cellular data, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and home drop, whatever you want to call that. And everything is working what it's supposed to work. So I, I, it depends which or what you want to do with your device. But if you're planning to use uh, this device as a daily use, you can still use it. But it's going to be a little slow. And I'm going to show you how to make your device kind of faster. But I remove every animation of the device. So it's just off. We got the music logo and the toggle. If you want to send that music to the Apple TV, you can do so with your device. And of course, we got all the school stuff the groovies the calculator the camera rotator the flash if you want to use those but it's working very fine as you can see here it is working what it's supposed to do so and we're gonna launch the calculator and as you can see here it show me the results uh, something that apple mistakenly in the past beta uh, make a mistake and for some reason if you launch the home button it's gonna ask you for the passcode so i had to lock the device again so what we're gonna launch this toggle right here we're gonna put the flash and in previews uh like ios 10 you cannot do this but now in ios 11 you can toggle and hard press your flash and what you can it's gonna happen you can control the flash right now i see this was not available in ios 10 so now it's available so it depends on what you want with your device so we're gonna put the passcode all the touch id sensor that is working just fine so let's start with the device but let's go let's go to see which are the things that we have in this version and of course this is the bridge extension and as you can see a little lag is normal to have this lag even in the iphone 6s you're gonna have lag there but you can control all your widgets right here and you can uh, add if you want to and remove those it's depending on what you want to put there but you know major application like whatsapp have that and you can also that use that thing there so this is about the voiceover and the cancel so as you can see very smooth no problem so we're gonna start to open the mail application as you can see here we're gonna open here and everything is really smooth i'm surprised to see that we're gonna open the calendar i'm sorry for the camera that i that I don't uh, correct correct the, the weakness, but as you can see, it's working just fine. So it is it's it's supposed to work just what it's supposed to do. Oh, we're gonna launch the camera, and the camera just working just fine too. So you can take picture without any problems. And remember, this device have a 180p uh, resolution, so you can uh, still uh, record decent videos with this device. Still, you can. If you're planning to use this device as a YouTube device, you can still use it, but remember to have light because this, this uh, camera is not for conditions in night, so it's not going to work on night. So let's go to the maps, and as you can see here, map is working just fine. We're going to launch uh, here a few actions, and you can see here it is working just amazingly. So we may be a little lag there, but it's not that bad. So you can launch a 3D motion right here. So there's a toggle, the 3D. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna launch something and I'm gonna try to use the voice over right here. So we're gonna enable the station and Puerto Rico. And yeah, there you go. We're gonna launch that and we're gonna remove this uh, here and we're gonna launch to my Iceland right here. If you want to know about me, you can go and find me on Facebook. This is my tiny Iceland. This is where I was supposed, uh, I was living in the past 30 years. And you can launch also the 3D animation right here and a little lag there is not that bad, 
but you get the idea let's launch the clock and as you can see here the clock is working fine no problems not nothing so it is supposed to work the likes like a charm so we're gonna open the weather in the weather there's something interesting in previous betas when you change a place for another place like this you encounter lag for some reason apple uh, removed that and now there's no lag like before I, I remember back then when I tried in the previous beta in iOS 11 when you try to move when another version to another version you're going to have a problem and then that has been removed that you don't get uh, that animation lag so what we're gonna try to do is to put another uh, effect so we're gonna call Madison Wisconsin since have a different weather and as you can see here you see the lag there that's the lag that I was talking about but it, it was worse I think Apple fixed that a little bit so the animation don't lag so much. So as you can see here, it's working just fine. So if you're planning to use this device as a daily use, I recommend that if you are in iOS 10.3.3, stay there. But if you are in iOS 11, you know what? Update to iOS 10.2, iOS 11.2 because it's working just fine. Here we go, we're gonna open the, the news app and as you can see here, Welcome to new. This is the first time that I open this. So we're gonna hit allow and we're gonna start to dig in right here to see how it performs. And as you can see, it's show me the new notification that I'm here and it's gonna be part now of the notification. Let's go and as you can see, very smooth. We're gonna open this news and very well organized. It is working what it's supposed to do. So if you're planning to use the device for the news app, you know, you can do so. You can like go ahead and play with your device. So let's go on to see the app stores, of course. So the app store is a heavy uh, LSTM M5 and sometimes it's a web-based uh, um, If you're planning to use this, as you can see here, it is working just fine. You can still uh, play decent games in this device. Remember that this device is have a 64 bits uh, processor that is capable of playing videos. Still, you can watch videos right here. But I gonna make uh, something clear that uh, the huge impact here is the battery. Uh, people claims that after updating to iOS 11, the battery has been uh, the, the big problem, the big issues. But I think in iOS 11.2 beta 1 has been partially fixed. And as you can see here, the battery is, is not decreasing so much what I expect to be. So we are working with the device. And as you can see here, we will still will have a nice decent amount of battery. And remember that a battery drain issue is, is when you start to drop uh, battery uh, fast and people are uh, trying to 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 claim that uh, iOS 11 and it is true iOS 11 is a huge uh, battery drain but I hope Apple fix this in the future a version but for now I'm, I think Apple kind of fix that and we are now in Safari and we are in the official Apple page and everything is working just smooth and there there we are the iPhone 10 and everybody's talking about this device so much and I really want to take this device in my hands to make unboxings for you guys um, yeah this is the iPhone 10 and what we're gonna do right here we're gonna test the device to see which are the if team L5 so the HTML5 is a code that is a web-based code and every page right now use that version so we're gonna try to to bribe and as you can see here it is working and this word means esto es una prueba it means English in English it will be esto like this will be a test so what I'm writing there is this is a test and remember I have a Spanish uh, version of this video you can do so you can watch that if you want to but now we're gonna press an lstm5 so well it's not perfect but as you get the idea we're gonna put htm5 and what we're gonna do is to make a test we're gonna see how the score to html5 test so let's go 
all right we're gonna text here we're gonna press test okay and let's see how is the score that we're gonna launch us and 458 that's a really decent score for this device so it's, you you don't going to have problems now in the safari so you may uh, use that but remember that uh, this device have four years four years so uh, this device was uh, in 2013 so it was launched in 2013 and the major uh, huge impact for this device it was because it was a 64 bit in fact this was one of the first 64 bit uh, device that uh, cell phone that run uh, processor uh, a 64 processor so let's go to launch Facebook and Facebook is a really good application here if you're planning to use a Facebook web page and a greeting for these friends this guy is always uh, talking with me in the Facebook application so if you want to find me in my social you can do so you can find me there but you get the idea you can still use a uh, Facebook and it's, it's gonna still working just fine so as you can see here no lag the videos playing just fine a little bit of lag but it's it's not that bad but it's working just just fine so following that you know it, it is working the idea is to see how it performs that's why i'm using this device and that's why i'm writing on this device to you see that uh, you can still use this device even with the is 11 as you update your device to is 11 you're going to uh, have the great opportunity to have this version of course it's not going to be like before if you're planning to have an is you planning to upgrade I, I suggest to do upgrade but if you have this only device and you accidentally upgrade to is 11 then why not update to s 11.2 you know it's it's a better and i'm gonna preview that in the description is how to to update to s 11.2 with the instruction uh in order to install this version remember that betas are not public are the developer you will need a certificate in order to install that so it's going to be under the description and anyways leave me in the description what you think about this device what do you think what do you expect in the future what apple is going to do with this device is they planning to obsolete this device like they they did with the iphone 5 let me know what do you think how many years will have this device and how many years apple uh, would de decide to to support this device i believe ios 11 will be the latest uh, uh, ios version that is going to be installed to this uh, device remember that every iphone have a five years old cycle so every five years apple stops supporting the device we we must see in future maybe this device uh, can have in in the future uh, a new version but that depends of course of apple so what we're gonna do here we're gonna we're gonna do a git bench or maybe a git bench right here so let's go and make a git bench because maybe a lot of people uh, tell me how hey Osh, how is the git bench how are the score and so we're gonna put this cpu to the test and to see what are the scores so as you can see here a really decent score for being a device for four years so we got this score for the single score we got 1291 and for the multiple score we got 2220 for the multiple score so remember uh single score 1291 and for the multiple score 2020 so very good score so what we're gonna do we're gonna put this uh we're gonna play a game maybe uh grand theft auto since grand theft auto is a ps2 game i remember very well that game so maybe we're gonna launch that or maybe we're gonna we're gonna see the videos that's the first thing of course the videos before playing the game so what we're gonna do we're gonna uh play the games and then and we're gonna watch videos so that's the iphone 10 that i suppose that they pay a lot of grants to have this right here so as you can see here it's just working just fine look at that ad you see that everybody wants this device so much and now i want to to have it to unboxing for you for you guys so it's a great device 
I don't, I, I don't want to lie. I want that device so much, but at the same time, it is really expensive. And if you want to support my channel, go. And if you want to make unboxing just for you, I'm gonna put my PayPal account and Patreon if you want to support me and support the channel. Of course, you see that uh, I make a lot of videos, tutorials, stuff, Windows, uh, so much uh, uh, iPhone mods and of, of the time. But you get the idea that how much you can uh, uh, help me if you want to support my channel. And I want to invest since I moved from Puerto Rico to Florida right now. I uh, in the hurricane Maria we lose a lot of stuff there and I'm planning to to have my own studio soon and, and uh, plenty of flights so I start this YouTube account two years ago um, you know I've been here for two years and I really appreciate your support I almost got 3,000 subscribers to my channel so I say thank you for all you people that have been supporting me um, but you get the idea that uh, that you helped me a lot, so thank you for that. Follow up about this, man. Uh, yeah, the video is working just fine. YouTube is still working fine. So, as you're planning to use this device as a YouTube, you're going to not have problems. So let's play now Grand Theft Auto. People remember this game very well, and of course, uh, Grand Theft Auto is the game that everybody. Play when the childhood in the PS2 console the back then uh, in 2003 I believe uh, two three it was the year that this game was launched in the PS2 and I, re I remember how many hours I spent playing this controversial game I remember when I went to the GameStop and they won't sell that game because it's what uh, it was so controversial they they don't sell the game for uh, the minors people. So now uh, here we are again playing this game and to see how well performed. So you get the idea. It is working just fine. Look at the animation, the PS2 graphics. Look at that graphics, guys. So amazing. It's been a lot of improvements in the graphics. So you play the Grand Theft Auto now, you're going to have the amazingly graphics. But this back then in the PS2, this is a game that it was uh, working just amazingly. It was amazingly with the graphics. So that's 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 amazing to see this game in in the iPhones and Android stuff like that. But I'm going to try to make a test right here just for you guys. So I'm walking and very decent graphics no lag no nothing so the frame rate is very stable so maybe we're going to stop this guy or girl oh my god that's the finger that just did we're gonna have rum i'm gonna try to drive and believe it or not i'm a good driver outside but in games i tell you the truth i sucks i really sucks and that's a fact a big fact that i i don't drive well in games so well, to get the idea, I crash every time, and I, I just, well, I need to learn how to drive in games. And, and remember, this is a, a, a little, uh oh, I just hit the police. It means that, oh, shit. Oh, well. Okay. Well, you get the idea. So, there you have it, guys. There you have it. We got the iPhone 5S review for you guys. I hope do you like this video. As always, like and subscribe. And for the final test, we're gonna try to make a message just to see how perform the keyboard. People claim that the keyboard is the lag. Uh, they have kind of lag, so we're gonna try to input the keyboard right here. So as you can see, it is working just fine. So it's, it's working, you know, it's going to have lag, yes, it's, it's, you're going to expect a, a little bit of lag, but you, you, you see, it's, it, it's, it's pretty normal to have that kind of lag in this device that has been four years, so remember that. And I'm going to let you know how do you make your device faster, and I have a separate video, how do you make your device faster. Um, what you have to do is just to remove the animations so you may have to remove that reduce motion some effects a series suggestions 
uh, some stuff like that to make the device a little bit faster and less battery drain. And remember, I'm talking about the battery. Look at the battery, it's amazingly fine right now. So uh, I think the battery is working just what it's supposed to do. Uh, let's go right here and go to general, go to accessibility, and if you want to make your device faster, uh, go here to reduce uh, transparency and disable all this. Enable the reduced transparency and the darker colors. I don't want to reduce the dark transparency, but I just go on to the dark colors. If you want to decrease the text size, you can do so. And also, if you want to reduce the the reduced motion you can do so that will be, will disable the animation completely so if you want to do so uh, what is happening is you enable that what is happening is that uh, every time you open the application let's see I'm gonna disable this right now and now the iPhone will have the animation that animation that I'm talking about when I enable this the animation is gone so there's no animation so put that on and you will see what I'm talking about. So yeah, there you got it guys. I hope you like this video as always, like and subscribe. And remember, if you want to support my channel, there will be a Patreon and PayPal accounts there. And always like and subscribe and thank you for everything my friends. Goodbye and I hope you like this one. See ya my friends, Austin S signing out.